Greetings. This is the first episode in a brief playlist in which I am going to explain the accelerating rate of change in more detail. I do have videos here that test whether someone is acceleration aware and give an introduction to the subject. This video in particular is one you can look at. But I believe it has to be explored in more detail because A, that video was made early in the life of this channel and is not as good production quality as what I might make now. But at the same time, charts like this one that you're looking at from Ray Kurzweil are way too complicated for most people. If I've learned one thing over the course of this channel is that graphs and charts are actually too hard for the majority of adults to interpret, let alone complicated graphs and charts. Whereas for me, graphs and charts are actually a preferred medium of communication. So in this introductory video I will explain this chart but then the remaining videos in this playlist will be exploring the accelerating rate of change through a variety of other simpler methods and this playlist should be viewed in a sequence at first and then after you viewed it in a sequence then you could randomize it for greater depth of knowledge but for the first viewing a sequence is probably better. So we take this chart from Ray Kurzweil, which is updated through about 2005. Presumably in his upcoming book, he's going to update that for whenever that book is going to come out. But that book has been upcoming for about four years. So let me explain this chart, but it's okay if you don't understand it. You can watch the rest of this playlist for simpler explanations. This vertical axis is logarithmic, meaning that each division is an order of magnitude apart, a factor of 10. So this is years in a factor of 10, and this is time before present. So both of these axes are logarithmic, and this is going backwards in time. That's also what's confusing for most people. And this is the interval between next events. And what is this legend over here? A bunch of unrelated people who study historical trends across a variety of subjects. Astronomers, encyclopedias, paleontologists, historians, and so forth all seemingly unrelated to each other, but what this chart is trying to say is that every major event is getting closer and closer no matter who is evaluating the historical progression of events. An astronomer like Carl Sagan, the American Museum of Natural History, Encyclopedia Britannica, various other people who are technologists, historians, paleontologists, and so forth. All these unrelated people could not coordinate all of their views together at once, yet all of them have cited what the major events of the world are from their perspective. And what Ray Kurzweil has done here is put each of those events as a dot on this graph, and don't worry about labeling of each dot. Those events are a certain time ago in the past, which is what this horizontal axis signifies. Today would be here, the further back in the past you go, the more to the left this chart goes. And the time to each next event from a prior event is in this vertical axis. So take this green dot, then the time to this next green dot was maybe 3 billion years up here, but over here, the time from here to here is maybe only 50 years. So the point of this chart is that all significant events are getting closer and closer, no matter who is doing the estimation of what is significant or not. So this is a very robust and indisputable cross-disciplinary assessment of the accelerating rate of change and pretty much indisputable proof of the accelerating rate of change. Certain naysayers keep saying that technology may have stopped and the accelerating rate of change has ended, but those people don't know what they're talking about because this goes back much further than humanity itself. Humanity only evolved about 100,000 years ago, so over here, and that was prehistoric humanity, the Stone Age. Before this was other things, like dinosaurs may have been over here. Early life, the Cambrian explosion may have been over here, and so forth, all the way up to four and a half billion years ago from the beginning of Earth and life on Earth. So this is very solid proof of the accelerating rate of change, but this graph is something that a 150 IQ person might prepare for other 150 IQ people, and that is why there is very little material explaining the accelerating rate of change down to, forget average people, but even the 110, 120 IQ people. And that's why there's so little knowledge about it. And that is a situation I'm going to aim to rectify. So if you understand this chart, excellent, but recognize that less than one in 1,000 people will truly grasp how profound this chart is. So we are going to divide this into pieces that are easier to understand on their own and then linked together as a chain. And that's why this is going to be in the form of a playlist. Whereas that first video that I linked to 
to in the tag with just one video that I made almost two years ago. So I encourage you to watch the rest of this playlist as I post these videos. And thanks for watching. Hopefully after you watch this, you will never view the world in quite the same way again.